<laughs> Hello there ladies and gents, how you doing and welcome back for another episode of Minecraft from the Village Craft server. Now today the folks, we're going to be finishing off the Pick and Mix Mob Drop Shop. So by the time we're done with this episode, this shop will be fully up and running and all we need to do to stock it is to stand on our little AFK platform all the way at the top, you can't actually see from it, <laughs> all the way at the top of our mob farm on the actual bridge. So the plan is to have all of the items from the mob drops come through the hoppers at the base just down here. If we go into one of the towers, you can see. You see all these hoppers that collect all the items? Yes, well, all the items are going to go into a water stream, which will be flowing under the road, coming down, down, down into a water chute that we have in the corner of the build right here and if i head on up you can see what i mean this is the top of what will be the item elevator so obviously you can fall in there because nothing's going to happen because there is soul sound at the bottom of that to force all the items up now this is going to actually go up a bit further but first things first this is the back of our shop so we have all these hoppers in place now the first thing we need to do is we need to put a filtering system on every single one of these floors. Then once we've got the filtering system in place, then we'll actually what we're gonna, what we're gonna do, yeah, get tongue tied there. What we're actually gonna do is run an ice path along each floor. Now, obviously the water is gonna bring it up to the first level. Then it's gonna go well, there's two ways of doing this. We can either bring it up to the first level, send the items along an ice path. They'll get filtered if they're for these two bottom items. And then go into another water chute. Or what I think we're going to do, maybe, actually, might be a bit, bit better way of doing it, is we'll send the items up to the top. That way they can run across, fall down, run across, fall down, run across, fall down, and run across. And then they can rejoin the item chute. In fact, yeah, that might be the way we're going to do it, <laughs> thinking about it. So we need to extend this water column all the way up to the top and then get the ice floors in. But first things first, let's get all these filtering systems in place. Well, there we go. There is the eight filtering systems all in and they already have the sticks renamed to filter in them. What we need to do now is before we put the ice path in, we need to go through and place in one stack of each of the items that we're keeping. So that's the rotten flesh, the gunpowder, the bones, arrows, string, redstone, sticks, and glowstone. So we've got a stack of each here. So all I'm going to do now is go along and now let's think. Up the top, start of glowstone. And doing it this way, putting it in here, saves me having to mess about trying to remember what's gone where because the first, was it 23 items, will actually float down into the chests. So I can sort all that out later when we're the other side of this wall. Because there will be a little um, item frame that says what's in there. Um, next we will have... Let's go for sticks. And arrows. And then the next floor... Oh, as also, I've gone and extended this terracotta up. We still need to do these walls here. This is actually inside the skull. As you can see, because the skull does actually protrude a good few blocks out from the walls of the building. So yeah, we've actually got a bit of space up here. I don't know if we can actually use this for something. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll come back in a later episode and put something in here. But let's just get the rest of these in. So up here, now let's go for string and bone. In fact, no, string and rotten flesh. Because I've got a feeling these two will be the most popular. Now, the gunpowder. I'm thinking... With me saying eight stacks of whatever you want for a diamond, I'm thinking the gunpowder we might limit to two stacks of purchase because otherwise people are going to be coming in and purchasing eight stacks of gunpowder for a diamond and it's going to be completely sold out all the time. And yeah, I'll have loads of diamonds, but we want to make sure that everybody gets a good supply of gunpowder. So maybe we'll limit it. But right, that is all of those items all filtered now. So now we need to get the ice path in. Which means I need to go back up to the top. Dang it. Right. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately where I put that uh, terracotta pillar in, it's actually knocked out half the stairwell. So let's see if we can get in around this way. Um, yeah, we should be able to get up here. Can we? Um, no. 
Right, let's see, have I got any... I've got some dialect on me, that'll do for now. Do, do, do. Here we go. Right, tell you what, let's just do this. Right, so this first block up here actually wants to be ice. And this is where the items are going to be coming. So the water will go all the way up to here. Then it'll be flowing out and we'll have an ice channel that goes all the way along. Now, it needs to come out this way because it needs to... The way this is going to work is the ice channel is going to come around come on there we go and you right because it actually needs to oh, hang on um doo -doo 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 -doo. i think i actually need to move it out so it's actually here because you need to make sure that you, you can put the oops no not you <laughs> the items go along the edge down here so let's think yeah if they're gonna go this way I need to put a chest here so this ice is actually gonna to have to go here let me get it all laid out and I'll be able to explain it better okay so here's what I meant I've gone and got the water chute with the salt sample all the way up and I've laid out the first ice track so the water will flow along here there we go I'm gonna to have to put another one in probably another water source probably around here so it flows around this way. The items will then get pushed up against the chest, where, at which point they will be along this border between the two blocks. And they will get pushed along that way. I'm thinking this is right. I might have to move this filter down the other end, which we'll see in a moment, because we'll get this set up and do a quick test. Then the items get pushed along. They will go around this corner. And then they will fall down here. And we'll have the same thing on the next level down, but coming from this side to the next. So, let's get a few more water sources, and we shall see how this runs. It's all about trying to make sure that you've got enough uh, momentum for the item. So, let's see. Comes round. There we go. Then if we put another sign there, get another water source. There we go. Oh, and then that can go there. Yeah, then we will put there maybe. We'll give it a try. It's all it's all about trying and error, making sure you've got enough momentum with the for the items to keep going. Then that should push them round and yeah. We'll put a sign where this dirt block is so they'll just fall off and go down. But for now, let's just do a quick test. Now if I use something that isn't actually going to be going through the system, it should just flow out. So let's take a stack of polished diorite. Goes round. Ah, see, now that's going to be the problem. So I've got a feeling we might have to move this filter. So we might have to move this a bit further down, you see. Hmm. That's annoying. Unless, I suppose we've got enough room in this dirt, we could actually have the items come out this way. And that would give me time. I could put a double chest in there. That'll probably be a lot easier than trying to rearrange all the filters. Right, let's just try that. Well, so much for that idea. I had to go and move the filter. As you can see, it's there. Why? Because, yeah. <laughs> Underneath that dirt is the obsidian for the actual um, outside. So we can't even put the ice in there. So, yeah, I've had to uh, move the filter across. And let's check how this works now. So if we put the dirt back down there. Alright, we have a water source. Let's grab another one. There we go. And we want the signs. Right. So we want a sign there. Water source there. Let's see how this works. In fact, let's put another sign. Hmm. Let's see if it will work if we put a sign there. So one more bucket just here right let's see how this works so if we come over here get a stack again there you go perfect that's what we want and it comes all the way down to the end so yeah because it goes over that corner if it was either redstone or glowstone if i remember correctly it will get sucked down into the filter perfect right now that we've got this first floor sorted now we need to go and figure out how to do it from the other end. So it fall, falls down where that dirt is. 
and moves along. And there's just repeating this two down below. Then hopefully that should be this done. And it just needs the actual collection system sorting out from the bottom of the farm. So let me get these ice channels put in and we'll see how we crack on. And that is all of the ice tracks in place, folks. So as I stated, it goes from left to right, drops down from right to left, drops down again, left to right, drops down again, right to left. And then it rejoins the item elevator or the soul sand elevator. So to test this out, I only have 44 torches in my inventory. Chuck them in there. Now, torches should not be picked up by any of the hoppers and they should be running around now i have gone and tested this already with some dirt but i couldn't remember if it actually clicked all up because i had some more dirt in my inventory so i'm not sure if it actually basically if it was lossless or what so let's see just waiting to see if they all actually come out but once we've got this done we will actually cap this off because then above here we've got our oh look there you go 44 torches brilliant so that works so yeah we're going to cap this off now uh, we'll get rid of this dirt staircase. Uh, cap this off because up here is going to be our apartment. But we'll probably be doing that in another episode. What we're going to do now is actually work on the item collection system. And it's going to be a, sim a system similar to what we had over at the Guardian farm with the droppers. The difference being they'll be shooting outwards down to the side instead of straight down. And again, we'll be using a water channel to collect all the items up. To send them into this water stream which is right underneath me right here i do believe so yeah i'm going to cap this off and i shall meet you in the basement of the towers so here we are underneath the mob towers folks in what has become known as the tower basement that is actually the redstone for somebody's redstone shop which is next door and i've gone ahead and started on these water streams now the the hoppers from the mob farm are going to need some adjusting because at the moment all of this ones come down into one central hopper whereas what i want them to do is actually come down to two so that one and that one so we'll have to completely rearrange all these once we've got the droppers in place and everything and it's the same down the other end down this tap uh, tunnel down here this leads down to the other mob tower and you see I've already uh, adjusted this one and divide, divided it into two different streams. And we'll get some droppers here and here. So let me see. I don't actually have any of the redstone stuff on me. <laughs> uh, let me go and get all of the redstone materials. And we will get these in place. And in fact, I'll tell you what. First things first. Let's, uh, in fact, I could have kept that one. Let's sort all these hoppers out, shall we? And I want to make sure... These don't actually, if these fall in the water stream, they will go off and that's them gone forever. So let's just block off that there. There we go. Right, so let's get all these hoppers out. Oh, that's actually collected some items. I'm guessing there's a few bits and pieces still in these hoppers. So, right, so we want to change that one, that one, and that one. Well, it's basically these central ones we need to change. All the ones around the edge can stay as they are. Yeah, there's quite a few mob drops in here. <laughs> Say what, why don't we just chuck all of these mob drops and get them flowing around the system. Do, 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 do. Yeah, sugar's one thing we're not keeping, so that's actually going to carry on going round and round until it despawns. Same with the glass bottles. So they'll just keep going round and round the filter system until they despawn. There we go. Lovely. Right. So, yeah, I'm going to sort these hoppers out now. And, in fact, we need to... Hmm. Let's get some blocks because we're going to want them to come to a central point. So, we're going to want one hopper there. Like that. And we're going to want one coming into this one here. Like so. And then we want to divide the rest of them amongst these hoppers so if we do that there we are so that is all those hoppers now redirected into this one and this one right thankfully i have still touch on me right let's go and get all the materials we need for the droppers and we shall get the redstone in place 
Right, so I've gone and got all of the redstone materials we need. And it isn't actually that much. All we need for each of these four hoppers, obviously we've got one here, one here, and there's two over the other side, is one dropper, one comparator, one repeater, a little bit of redstone dust, and a few blocks. So it's not exactly complicated. So let's see if we can get these sorted. So it is. We have a dropper, then a block. Okay, well, let's move this. There we go. I don't need that at the moment either. Then we have a comparator, which comes out to... Ah, okay. <laughs> there we go. Now that comes out into a block, like so. Then we have a block here, a bit of redstone dust. And... Blah, 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 blah. Repeater then redstone dust redstone dust and a block now that should be everything in place let's just find out let's just stick yep there we go and obviously we're going to do exactly the same thing on this side so dropper block comparator of course this is filling up with items as well let's uh clear that out we'll stick those back in in a moment Right, so comparator goes into a block, bit of redstone, another block, repeater, two more bits of redstone, and the block. And now, if we stick, tell you what, let's put them all up here. And there we go. Right, oh, now hang on, that's going to be an issue. Hmm. hmm, that is going to be a bit of an issue. We might have to... Uh, Oh no, there we go. That should be okay. And the occasional bit of loss, considering how much this farm is going to generate, I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. Nah. Right, so let's get the uh, redstone in down the other end. And then we will seal this off, like we are doing with this one. Like so. There we go. And that will prevent any drops from going in, and also prevent any mobs, but... Just so we know, oh, I've just gone and picked all those items up. So yeah, I'm going to go and crack on, do this down the other end. We'll get this water channel done, and then that will be our farm ready to up and go, resupplying our shop. Fantastic. One fully self-stocking, self-sorting shop coming up. And with that redstone complete, folks, there we are. The pick and mix shop is now fully up and running. Which is brilliant. Now I've actually spent the night AFK in just to get a few mob drops coming down. Uh, I'm not too happy about... I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to put a door in here. Uh, this is just a temporary thing. Uh, I have gone and put a few decorations in. So we now have payments chest. Payments chest. There's some signs. Please pay at the counter. So people know to pay at the counter. I've put a bit, a little bit of decoration in. Bit of a creeper. The skeleton banner. A zombie banner and a witch banner. Just a little bit of decoration. And now I have got and decided on different sort of a pricing structure. Rather than doing like eight stacks for a diamond. Here we go. So redstone and glowstone. Now these two don't seem to be coming through that much. The farm doesn't generate that many witches. So yeah, two stacks for diamond for those. Sticks and arrows. Yeah, four stacks of diamonds. Loads of those. String again, there's plenty of strings. Three stacks. I have gone and divided this up amongst the um, rarity of the drops and demand. So, string and rotten flesh, the bones, three stacks per diamond. So, you basically, you can get a stack of bone blocks for a diamond and gunpowder. Now, this gunpowder originally, I was going to have it as one stack for two diamonds because that's how much uh, Vex is selling it for over at the Evil Emporium next door. But you know what? We have actually got quite a bit. Uh, I'll show you. If we go, here we are. So, yes, we have the uh, items in the item frame. So, you know what floor, what items are on. If we come on up. So, yeah, how are we doing? Bones. Uh, it's down this end. Yeah, we've got quite a few bones. Brilliant. Gunpowder. Yeah. We get quite a few. So, I, I couldn't really sell one stack for two diamonds. So, yeah, one stack of diamond for that. That's fine. <laughs> Whereas, if we go and have a look at the... Redstone and glowstone, you'll see what I mean about um, it's quite a rare drop. We don't generate that many witches. Look, not even two stacks of redstone and the glowstone dust. 
yeah, just over a stack. So, hmm. This floor probably isn't going to get used that much. But anyway, that is all of these supplies sorted. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is... Obviously, people pay into these chests. Yeah? Right? Now, as you can see, there's a hopper down there. Now, the way in to collect my payments is actually going to be through my lobby, which we'll be probably doing either next episode or get done in between episodes on whatnot. I'm not quite sure. We've still got this round here, which we need sorting out. Because if we knock through right here, there we are. This is underneath the stairs, and you can see we have... This chest for the payments. So, yeah, you make your payment, the diamonds come through, and we'll collect in here. So, yeah, there we are, folks. We now have a fully working... Oh, we could have just come around this way. <laughs> yeah, we've got the side alleys. We now have a fully up and running, self-supplying, self-sorting shop for all of our mob drops. And now all we need to do to stop the shop is stand up there, AFK. It's best if I do it when there's nobody else on the server. A, because the spawn rates are fantastic when the only spot mobs can spawn is in these towers. Which is why we stand up there. But also, this water still isn't fully optimised. Even though we're in 1.13.1, uh, it still causes a little bit of tick lag. Um, when I came back on this morning, I actually had to restart the server just because it kept rubber banding a little bit. Not hugely, but... Yeah, it still causes a little bit of an issue. Hopefully, 113.2, that would be better optimised. But, there we are, folks. We now have a way of consistently making diamonds. So, if you do watch the other village crafters, be sure to let them know. And if you're not, why not? Why not? But be sure to let them know that the Pick and Mix shop is now open. So, they can get all the bones for the bone mills for their farms and everything that they need. They can get all the rotten flesh for trading with the villagers for their emeralds. There's loads of different uses for all these drops. But with that being said, folks, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. And be sure to join me next week for next week's episode. But until then, folks, all that's left for me to say is if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. It lets me and YouTube know that you've enjoyed it. And it will share it with all the other people in the world. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. So you get notified when all the new videos are coming out. But until next time, guys, as the sun sets on another Village Craft day, all that's left for me to say is take it easy, guys. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye, guys.